Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at a beautiful add-on known as Cracker. Cracker is made available by VFX Guide and I've just gone ahead to purchase this beautiful add-on because it's so awesome. So for those who have no idea who VFX Guide is, is the very same creator of the OCD add-on, which is a one-click damage tool that allows you to create damages on faces and edges. And just bringing that simplicity is exactly what he's doing with the Cracker add-on. Now, this add-on simply allows you create cracks on any kind of model super, super easily. It has a cool set of features, a couple of shortcut keys, and we're just going to go ahead and talk about some of the amazing things that you can get with this. And for those who like to get this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this for yourself. And to get started with this, all you need to do is fire up Blender and with Blender simply open right here. You can go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And once you install this add-on, if you press N on the keyboard, you wouldn't notice anything here because this add-on actually deals with a shortcut. And the shortcut for this add-on is Ctrl and W. So once you hit Ctrl and W on the keyboard, you get the cracker cracking. And this is where things start getting interesting. You want to increase the width of the crack? Perfect. You would like to move the crack? Of course you can. So you can just simply tap G on the keyboard, move this up and down you would like to rotate it super you can rotate this however you want and for those who like to throw in a bit of displacement you can so once you go in and you can throw in that displacement that you want use the middle mouse button and roll in some more details or you know whatever you like to do and this is just super super cool and definitely you would love this one so if you're into cracking stuff this is one of those add-ons that you need to have and work with. So once I click on OK and let that go, you can see super nice. We have this cracking and you would like to crack more stuff. Of course you can. Control W one more time and you can position this however you want. Click to create that crack. And this is just relatively extremely easy. So you want more crack there. That's a crack. Click right here. Let's actually create more cracks here because creating cracks are fun. So we're just going to go in and uh, make one more crack right about here. So you can see super easily, you can make cracks and all of these create independent surfaces or, you know, independent geometry. So you can move this however you want. You can move this however you want and it's super nice. And for those who like to combine this and also create more cracks, of course you can just simply select all of them, hit Ctrl J on the keyboard, or you can right click and click on join and join all the things together. And from there, you can hit Ctrl and W on the keyboard. And in this case, we just like to crack across this. OK, so I'm just going to go in, hold down Ctrl, tap W on the keyboard and create one massive crack right about here. So let's just make that crack right there. If you would like to remove some pieces or maybe you like to play with different things like, you know, increasing the width and stuff like that, of course you can. So we can have that there and click on OK. And you would now notice that this crack travels through so it travels through the entire thing you want to do more cracks let's say across this part okay ctrl j one more time ctrl w which is super easy tap g on the keyboard to move the crack wherever you want tap t to play with some thickness or some width which is nice so we can have that there and click on okay and that is super super easy and from there you can just disintegrate these things however you want and have fun working with it it is also worth mentioning that in several instances, if you like to remove the smallest part, maybe you want to simply delete a certain part of your mesh. Of course you can. So what we're going to do is just simply create multiple cracks. I'm just going to create a crack right there. And let's say I would like to chop off a certain part. What we can do is if you hit Ctrl and W and you get this crack right there, you tap G on the keyboard to move this to wherever you want. And if you hold on Ctrl on the keyboard and click, you can simply chop that off, which is really, really nice. So you can use this to cut off so many, many parts and you can just simply go to town with this one, tap G, move it to the smallest part, hold on control, click, and you can start creating that beautiful chop off on this crack with this crack. You know, it's just a beautiful tool. And I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and explore this right now. And for those who like to even create more cracks on several surfaces, you can pick up complex surfaces and complex meshes and create even way more cracks with this. And if you like to create cracks on complex models like this, of course you can. Hit Ctrl, hit W, and with this model selected, let's actually do that. Hit Ctrl and W, select the part that you want, roll this if you want to roll it, tap D on the keyboard to displace this however you want. And that way, once you click, you notice we have the crack. And just in case you're wondering what this is, 
It is because we're looking at this with the shaded smooth. If we switch over to shade flat, you definitely get this exactly how it is supposed to be. So from here, you can definitely go to town with this. Control W one more time and we can get cracking. So we can crack that and you notice it's pretty interesting how this just simply stays there. So we might just want to crack a little bit somewhere around there. Hit Control and J and we're going to crack. Okay, sorry. And we're going to crack this again. So I'm just going to crack somewhere like so. Maybe just somewhere like this. A little bit like that and that is it so this is more like it for those who like to get this amazing tool from vfx guide you can simply go over to the link in the description and grab this and start cracking tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section this is one of those cool add-ons that simply helps you add that level of realism to your meshes and it is worth grabbing and checking out Tell me what you guys think about this one and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace